Hey guys, welcome to another Mini Z video. I've mentioned this before, when eBay gives out coupon codes with good discounts, I look for brand new ready sets of Mini Zs to buy. And a place up in Sydney had them at a very good price. So once I used the coupon, it made them worth buying just to get the chassis really. You can see I got McLaren P1 GTRs. It's time to get them out of the box and check that they actually work. One ready to go. So next step, grab my radio. I programmed in just some basic settings for each of them a little bit earlier to speed up the process. So just go to RX setup, get the radio into bind mode. Now I've got to turn the car off. push down the bind button and then turn it back on and then when the car stops the fast flash and goes to the slow flash it's unintuitive but that's when you hit the back button on this radio and these batteries don't have a lot of power but at least that one is bound and good to go so body on Move that one out of the way, and we'll just see if this one is close to straight. Usually, find out of the box they're not even close. So we're still on the the, the box stock tyres, which means terrible grip. So you can tell it just pulls hard to the right, massively to the right. So let's go with a massive amount of left trim. It's getting close. Yeah, it's not bad to start with. I can just make minor adjustments, but since I've had to use a massive amount of left trim, what I'll do is a feature that the Mini Zs have, which is turn off the radio and then hold down the bind button whilst the car's already on with the radio off. Wait for the fast flashing and then turn the car off and what that does is it resets the neutral position of the steering to whatever it was trimmed to. So then what you can do is turn the radio on with the car off. And then in the sub trim of the radio, reset it. And when you turn the car on, it's taken out all that left trim of 50 that I had to do. So the wheel stayed in the right place. So now it'll mean I'll only need a, a little bit of extra trimming instead of having a massive amount of trim. Alright, so that one's confirmed as working, so I'll move on to the next one because I'll need to swap the tyres over to aftermarket Kyosho ones to be able to properly trim it out because I need to be able to drive it fast. Now moving on to number two, get batteries into number two. That was a tight fit, but it's in. Okay, batteries are in. 
So switch to the other one of the car. Get the radio into bind mode. And then perform the acrobatic trick of holding down the bind button and, and flicking on the very firm on on off switch to on. Uh, so should be done. Yep, that's good. Okay, so let's just drive it a bit. Yeah, this one's a lot straighter, straight out of the box. It's pulling to the left just a bit. I back straight, the straight that it's currently on, I stand on that a lot so it gets a little bit of a depression which means the cars do drive a little bit off straight down that straight but that's okay because I'm used to it. So we're pulling a bit to the left now, I'll just put a bit of right trim in. Yeah, it's not bad as a starting point. It's braking traction just on full throttle on the, the box stock tyres. Oh, I've already broken off one of the, the canards and it's all it took on my first McLaren P1 a single touch on a barrier and they broke it broke off so then I just pulled off the one on the other side so it didn't look odd the next step I take with these cars is swap them onto Kyosho aftermarket tyres and then tweak the steering a little bit more and then tweak the endpoints so they can make the corners at high speed that's all I want to show in this video guys just a little bit of um, setting up the cars may not help um, the experts here but there might be some people that are just starting out that learn something from it okay thanks for watching mini z out